Hello everyone and welcome to another video uh, about SAF Laser. Today we'll be talking about a uh, PDF viewer. I know we have uh, shown uh, PDF integrations and viewer in other meetups and in other videos. And we also have done it with uh, third party controls infusing PDF viewer. We have done uh, several variations of this, but I think that this one is a really interesting one. And I like because we can use the same implementation for PDF, for document files, for image, and so on. So let's see it in action quickly. And uh, for example, right here, we have a Word document. And if you see, we have a, a actually, a little bit of a teaser or a spoiler of something that we are keep working on doing more videos about the DevExpress uh, reporting topic and how you can use it and the benefits and so on. But Basically, you see that you have here a Word document. We can, uh, let's go back and let's add something else. Let's add a PDF. And if you see, this is one of the syllables of for getting started with XPO. And you see right here, real fast, we get our PDF viewer with our pages right here on the side. Let's actually save and close and do another one. And this time, let's try to go to desktop photos and let's go to customers and students. Let's see. All right. There was a, a small uh, demo. demo effect, but basically, you can see that we have uh, made or customer and student map that it was an image into the PDF viewer and it's looking really nice. And really, I really like this picture. It shows that actually SAP is all over the world. So I'm really excited about this. So let's see it in code. Uh, One question, Javier. So this is a document viewer, not a uh, PDF viewer. Like Yeah, to be yeah you, are, you are completely right. But we have been using it mostly for PDF. So I think that is a stock on my head. But basically, it's a definitely document viewer, actually. Or... Uh, our class is called, called Document Viewer, and our property editor is Blazor Document Viewer. So basically, it's a property editor for the file data. And basically, in the read value call, we are calling the get base 64 string method. This is our own method that when we pass the file data, we're going to be checking. All right, is this a, a extension doc? It's a Word document. It's an RTF. It's an XML. It's a dot text. It's a text file. If it, it's an image. It's a GPG, GPG, it's a PNG, any of those. And then we're going to be doing some conversion. We're going to be using the rich edit document server and then exporting it to PDF and then convert it to base 64. And then the neat thing is like after we do this for image and we do this for uh, any other extension, our render becomes just real simple. HTML5 object that we pass our content and we're good to go. So that's beautiful because sometimes you need to have like usually for me the most common flavors will be PDF and doc. So you don't have to do two implementations. It's the same control. Ah, and it's the same for the image. If the same for the image. So and um, for the image part, I uh, let me mention we have a little bit of extra beautiful extra flavor, extra magic. We compress the image before we actually convert uh, and send it in case there is a huge image or something like that. So uh, yeah. so that's it. Short, sweet, but really useful. All right, guys. See you in the next video. See you.